Hi everyone, Jeff here from HireTrustMarketing.com and InfoMarketerZone.com. Welcome to 2012. A big welcome. First of all, it's going to be a really exciting year. I wanted to quickly get to a topic that um, I've been getting a lot of requests for early in this new year. That's I, I know a lot of you are excited about you know building that next website or building your new business or you know getting things off the ground, getting action taken, and that's great because uh, as I wrote recently on the blog, if you haven't read the post, I want you to go there. Uh, at HireTrustMarketing.com forward slash blog is that you can actually um, lose your entire 2012 just in the first few weeks of the, of the year if you don't get things off the right way. And I explain what I mean by that on the blog, um, not the purpose of this post, but very, very important to read just nonetheless. Uh, because you can find yourself, if you squander the first few weeks in, in January, you can find yourself sort of behind the eight ball for the entire year and, and actually be looking back at the end of 2012 and have accomplished nothing. So very important. So. Um, in any case, this is the purpose of, of this particular video today is to help people get off in the right course and that is a lot of you are looking for a sort of thin, what I call a thin business model. That is, should I put up a mini site with you know an affiliate for a ClickBank product or should I put up an Amazon site? Or should I put um, an AdSense site up? Or should I um, put up my own mini site with my own product? And that's great. You're thinking in terms of what type of online business should you do. But really, uh, what I want you to do today is take a step back and think about is um, think about an Amazon site, for example. Is setting up an Amazon store, an Amazon site, really a business in itself? Or is it sort of part of a bigger business? That This is what I want you to think about. Um, same thing if you're setting up, um, think of an author that writes their book. Is that really their business? Well, no, the book is sort of one part. It's one income stream and it's more than likely a marketing tool to market, say, a speaking business they have or um, to get them a better job or get them ahead or personally brand themselves, right? So when we think about these different business models online, what I want you to think about is um, think of the big picture not just the thin slices that will be your online businesses. And I think this is gonna make all the difference in the world for you as you go ahead. So what do I mean by this? Let me give you a concrete example. Let's say that you know, I had someone asking me about putting up um, a, a particular Amazon store for a musical instrument, for guitars, for example. We'll use that as an example. Um, you know, to, to what, I, what I told this person is, think about it. The two options you have are to generate, let's say you're passionate about guitars or, or a musical instrument or a type of music, say jazz music or, you know, it, it, think of it in that terms and, and I'm only using music in, as one example. What if you set up a site and you spent the next 30 days, right, half an hour to an hour a day, setting up a content rich site around your passion? And this isn't going to be much work, folks. If you think, if, if you pick something you're passionate about in the first place, then there's nothing, nothing to writing an article, writing a blog post, writing a web page, um, you know, starting a forum. However, you want to generate that content, but think about it in terms of okay, my end customer is someone like me that's passionate about guitars, or passionate about jazz music, or passionate about classical music, or passionate about hard rock, or, or whatever it is, and I'm going to set up a content site where I'm gonna share that passion. And so I'm gonna post daily, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for news stories, I'm gonna look for sort of the latest gear or equipment, I'm gonna look for the, the how-to instruction booklets on how to get started. I'm gonna look for all of that stuff on behalf of my customer. I'm going to be an advocate for my customer, right? That's how you have to think about yourself. So what you're really going to build is sort of an authority site around a niche market that you're passionate about that you're going to be able to monetize in many ways. And this is the critical part is, would you eventually want to, to have uh, an Amazon store off of the site? Sure. For those people that want to buy musical instruments that are related to your passion, absolutely. Um, would you want to market an affiliate product, a how-to instruction booklet on how to get started playing that type of music? Sure. Right? It makes sense because what you're, you're building a bond, you're building a bond with a passionate market, with a niche market, you're building an authority site that draws all the traffic and the interest in for your market. Now you've got numerous ways to, to monetize that. You can put up AdSense ads, you can market affiliate products, you can market physical products through Amazon sites that hang off of this site. You can build a list and then continue to market other products to them. You can create your own product within that niche. 
right? So what I want you to start off by doing this year is starting to think a little bigger about your business. I want you to start thinking about it in terms of I'm going to create an authority site for my business that can be monetized in a number of ways. Don't worry initially about, you know, yes, you should have one way of monetizing it right off the bat, but don't worry too much about that. Worry more about, you know, if I pick something that I'm passionate about, that I can write about on a daily basis, and I can, you know, you don't have to have all the answers. You don't have to have the knowledge up front. You can research that, you can find it for them, but, um, you know, for example, I just launched a, um, an authority site on headphones, on audio headphones, something that it's just a passion in the electronics sphere that I have. Well, I'm pulling content from all kinds of places, learning things. It just fascinates me and I'm just sharing that with my customers already. I'm getting between two and 300 visitors a day. This is with less than a month. Right, that I'm starting to figure out, okay, now I can monetize this by bringing in Amazon products. I can start to, to monetize this by forming direct relationships with certain companies. Lots of different opportunities, but hey, it was a passion. It's something I enjoy doing, right? So same thing with you. Pick, a, you know, pick an area where you're passionate, build that authority site out, and then you'll have multiple ways to monetize it. Start thinking about it that way instead of thinking about, do I need a course on how to market um, through Am build Amazon sites or build mini sites or build info products right off the bat? Think about how I can create um, a massive sort of groundswell of traffic around a passion and then you can always monetize that. Okay, so um, this we're going to be spending a lot of time on this and we already do within infomarketerzone.com. So if you haven't, if you're not a member of that site, a lot of these same techniques underlie the content and the training that's within infomarketerzone.com. Um, this, this whole course is based on building a full-time income for you and building sustainable, long-term, valuable businesses online versus fly-by-night sort of website type um, businesses or thin sites, which are all being, folks, these are all being um, pushed further down in the SERPs and people don't like these sites. You know, these are sites that may earn you money for a couple months, these thin sites, but they disappear. And so what I want you to build is I want you to put your time on something that's going to continue to grow over time, get more valuable, more valuable, bring you in more traffic, make you more money. And, and that's going to be the focus uh, as we go on in 2012. So I hope that was useful for you. Uh, leave us some comments on the blog if it is. Anything else that's uh, burning questions you have that's stopping you from getting ahead today. And uh, we'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye for now.